Hi, and welcome to the overview of the ACS accounting demo. When we began planning the new release of our accounting module, we had one goal in mind, and that was to make it user-friendly. With nearly 15 years' experience converting rentals and ADP users, we knew we had to make the screens easy to learn, easy to use, and easy to navigate. So let's see the first thing we did to be able to make it easy to navigate. On the left-hand side, you'll find a tree-style menu. Now, based on a predefined user security, they can quickly and easily find the area they're looking for without having to memorize codes like 0062 or CPO. If you look in the center of the screen, we've added a dozen quick list buttons that each logon can quickly customize. So regardless of which PC a user signs in on, those quick list buttons follow them. And this is really nice for the title clerk who fills in at the cashier window during lunch. Now you'll notice if you look in this area right here, the user can customize the captions. So during the early weeks of being on ACS, they can feel more comfortable calling check writing 0062 or purchase orders CPO. They certainly can. So let's go in and look at a couple screens. One screen I like to show accounting managers is the reports menu and our month end report. Now, month end reports basically are month end reports, but we do offer one exceptional feature, and that's the ability to have archiving built into the system. And what this means for you is that if you were on our system in September of 2000, you could run your month end report just by changing that date range. You don't need any third party application. You don't have to send any reports on a CD anyplace. It's all right there built for you and you could run it that easily. Another area that's very nice, if we looked at our general ledger inquiry, I could either access it here or just click the GL inquiry button. And this happens to be a GM chart of accounts, so we're going to go to 324 in search, and we're going to open up our July of 2009 sales tax payable journal. Now, this information is pretty basic, but one of the nice things about it is I can go and change from July to June just by clicking this button. I could also just see a 12-month history by clicking the history button. Now, one of the other nice things about it is I can go to a different period, let's say we'll go to September of 2000 that easily and now I'm looking at September of 2000. If I wanted to see the detail there's two buttons I could push. I could push the print preview or just click the detail button and there's my detail for September of 2000. Now this is searchable and printable and I can also save it as a document if I wanted to do that. One other thing our users enjoy is each screen has a indexed help manual. So by just by clicking the button right here, whichever screen I'm in, if I need help, it's going to be there. Let's go in and look at checks and a couple of nice features about checks. This happens to be our check writing screen entry. And if I've got multiple companies, this is where I would change companies. And this is, say, as an example, if I was going to write a check to Office Depot, this is the place I would do it. Now, in this screen, we show you a couple things, including what your current payable balance is. And I could just write a check like normal, but I also have one more tool, and that's the ability to be able to reprint a check or a check copy any point in time that I want. So if I wanted to go back and write it, uh, reprint a check from June, it's that easy. I just hit my print copy button pretty simple. We also have in our check menu, of course, a very nice check register. And I'll show you how that works. If I wanted to be able to find all the checks that I wrote Office Depot, I type in a certain index in a chronological order all those checks that I wrote Office Depot. I'm going to hit Vent Totals button and this is going to isolate Office Depot and show that I've written $41,000 in checks to them. Now I can pick any of these checks and so let's go in and look at this check that was written December of 2000. Now if I want to see the detail it's going to be there. Here's the basic information and just by double clicking on it I can drill down and see all the invoices I paid with that check. Let's look at one other area in the reporting area, and that's how we move things to Excel. Now, compare how ACS moves things to Excel as how you do it in ADP or Reynolds and Reynolds. I click Excel, 
I hit create, I hit enter twice, and my Excel report's going to appear. And I'm going to enter in information right here. And it's that simple. So creating reports in Excel is exceptionally easy. Show you one other report function. This is our report generator. So if you wanted to go in and create a custom report for your dealership, whether you wanted to pull it out of your customer database, whether you wanted to pull it out of deal database, service ticket information, prospect information, parts inventory, invoices, it's all going to be there. And once you have the information, you can run it for a particular range and reorganize a report any way you'd like to be able to do it. We'd like to be able to show you more in our accounting demo. Uh, if you uh, stay tuned, we're going to show more modules in the ACS system. We'll show the payroll, uh, we'll show sales, we'll show the part view, and we'll show the service module. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Thank you.